Sasrikal everyone, welcome back to my channel. First of all, thanks to all the 111 people who are attached with me on my YouTube channel. You all are not just subscribers or digits for me. You all are emotions attached to my channel. Thank you so much. I hope we grow this uh, channel more and you guys help me in growing the channel by sharing my videos with your loved ones and people around. So today I will be showing you around the first summer of Toronto. So yes, it's sunny day, bright today, 23 degrees. Let's see what Toronto people or what Canadians actually do uh, when summers kick in. So I'm in the car right now heading towards one of the beaches or parks and uh, I will be showing you around uh, what we guys do when it is proper summer. So this is how Canadians enjoy their life the moment summer comes in. Uh, you can see this guy is taking away his bikes, which is bicycles. So he must be going somewhere to hike uh, and ride these bicycles. See another one. This guy is taking a big boat, almost like a yacht. Maybe he must be going to up north uh, or to a lake shore. Uh, another one, there's another truck. These little boats are called kayaks. So this guy must be also heading towards the lake shore. Lush green trees clear blue sky well not that clear little clouds on the sky looks like it's going to rain i hope not look at that jeep do you see this the red jeep on the right hand side canadians love love summers these cars come out in summers so we have reached at the boyd conservation area this is the first time we are entering into this park Let's see how it goes. And yes, the music behind is Siddhu Musiwala. Shout out to all the fans of Siddhu Musiwala. I am just in love with this song. So we have reached at this Boyd Reservation Park and this is in Islington. We had to travel 30 minutes to reach here. Uh, my husband has just gone to check. Uh, there is some kind of fee to enter into the park. This is very strange because otherwise in all the beaches and parks in Toronto or GTA or maybe in any of the parks in Ontario, we never make any kind of payment to enter into the park. But let's see what they say. So it is for the very first time that any park has a fee to enter so we were a little skeptical that are we supposed to make a payment here because in Ontario we haven't seen any park which charges a fee to visit a park or a beach so a little new for us they would be charging seven dollars per person so I hope it's pretty good and is not a disappointment Toronto is beautiful in summers. Look at the lush green. So there's trees. no access to the to the washrooms. No, no, not right now. So we can sit and we can we can be there. Yeah, yeah. You guys can do everything as normal. You just can't use the washrooms. Okay. Just slow down. So this suggestion of coming to this park was made by this guy, this friend of ours, who wanted us to visit. So, looks good. Clear blue skies and lush green trees. This is the place which I used to visit when I was at school days. This man has been in Canada during his studies, studies and college days so this man here is his friend from those days 
and they want to revisit the memories of their older times old times this place looks nice it's big and huge you can see already there are people there sitting having picnic so the worst part is that the washrooms are closed so if we have yeah <laughs> So this is how we are prepared during summers. That's social his distancing, wait, wait, wait. social distancing. <laughs> yes, he's our friend Ravneet, and uh, he is carrying this ice box <laughs> where you have your beers, trays. We don't have a beer. It's apple juice. Okay, and that's lot. That's chips, salsa, whatever. I don't know. So our setup is ready. We have Canadian shots, beers, water, salsa, a lot of dips, and. Uh, these guys are talking something that I cannot actually show you in the video so I had to mute it <laughs> so we are actually pulling this guy's leg as he's single another thing that you have to prepare yourself for summers in Canada is these beach chairs you get them easily at Canadian Tire, Walmart and they're quite cheap for $9 to $10 so you must have them in your car foldable do not take much of space in the boot so yeah okay everyone so the weather is really unpredictable in canada and uh, suddenly it's got windy it started raining in between but we are loving it and uh, as you saw people here are doing barbecue uh, they have brought food from home and uh, so that's how people celebrate summers and make the most of summer weather in canada lots of greenery the sun comes and goes that is our table that's where we are sitting chilling around get these chairs for sure because we got them from Walmart at nine dollars put them in your car open them anywhere you feel like sitting you can see here this family is doing barbecue the entire family has come they're gonna have treats enjoy themselves so this is a life of a normal Canadian in summers. We are just trying to figure out the trail. We can't see any trail. This is like a forest area without any specific trail. So just walking and figuring out if there is any proper place to walk around there. So we found this river body on the sides of the park and uh, this is like a riverside and uh, the water in here is really cold entire ontario lake is really cold don't know why so the water is actually chilling so i'm not entering into the water and staying away but this is so beautiful we are going there is no proper trail here but we're still walking in the middle of the jungle <laughs> and my husband is very adventurous but I am not but we are walking look how dense the jungle is so finally after walking for good one hour in those forest areas dense forest area we have finally been able to find this trail and now we are tired because we have already walked a lot and time to head back 
I hope you enjoyed my video. Lots more to come on my channel, so stay tuned. So time to head back home. We were here for four hours and a must, must place to come with your family and friends once there is, a, once the social distancing is lifted. Uh, I think it's a great place for family and friends to come and uh, enjoy on the weekends. It is an amazing place. Yes, you have to pay a ticket, but then you will not be disappointed. So time to head back. Make sure you wear sunscreen and uh, get your umbrellas and uh, chairs and a lot of food to eat. Also, if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. There's lots more to come from Canada and uh, like and share my video as much as you can.